We first caught up to Christopher Moon in San Diego at a conference for high school administrators, manning a booth where he was selling himself and his power, the power to talk to the spirits from the great beyond. Uh, basically what this is, is the completed version of Thomas Edison's Telephone to the Dead. Moon wants you to believe that he can connect with people who have left this earth. Claims he'd been given some kind of special ability as a kid. You know, when I was a child, I actually had an experience when I was seven years old. And, uh, well, I, I, we had just moved into a new house uh, in Inglewood, Colorado. And it was a boring 1970s vintage type of house. Uh, nothing really scary or spooky about it. But the first night that we moved in, I actually awoke to a full-bodied apparition of a little boy standing at the end of my bed. And it wasn't just someone who appeared and disappeared, they stayed there the entire night. Says he toured the world as a musician and kept coming in contact with spirits other people could not feel or see or imagine. I toured all over the world uh, playing music, which was a wonderful thing. But I realized I was still having these experiences all the time. And uh, people would say things to me uh, that would really just kind of amaze me, like, how did you know that about me? Or um, only so-and-so knew that about me before they died. And at that point, I realized that there was definitely something a little different about my abilities. His vocation got a bump after 9-11, when people wanted to know more about what was on the other side, and could they somehow find the dead? All of a sudden, people became very interested in the afterlife. And I think it was just such a reminder to us that there is somewhere that we're going. We should live a certain way because what happens to us past this point? So there's really been this renewed interest in what takes place. See, it seems Thomas Edison was more than a scientist, but he actually designed a contraction that you plug in. And if you listen close, you might be able to hear someone from your past who is no longer with us. That's right. He claims that this has power, no long distance charges involved. To hear the dead speak to you, all you have to do is plug this in. Well, essentially what it does is gives us real-time, two-way communication with the spirit world. So we turn the device on. Um, I actually have a spirit technician on the other side that I work with, which is a very long story. His name is Tyler Trujillo, and uh, he led me to his living parents, which is absolutely amazing. And wow. um, yeah, Tyler is my friend on the other side. He died when he was 18 years old. He's eternally 18, um, has that attitude. He's <laughs> we took this out on this investigation and actually discovered that we had the telephone to the dead. We could ask questions into the open air, and through this device, people would come through in their own voice and give us answers to things that had happened to them in the past, dates. It was absolutely incredible. Our roving reporter, Susan Arco, and paranormal author, Annie Wilder, took a shot with the telephone to the dead. Can you say something a little louder, Ty? I apologize. Yeah? Okay. I heard you. Um, are you having difficulty in speaking right now? Susan wanted to connect with her father. Right here. Hey. Hey. It's me, a woman. Hey, it's me. There was a woman that was trying to reach you. Maybe my grandma, Dorothy. Dorothy? What was his name? Tom or David was my step. Tom or David? Hello. Can they hear? Yes. Just did. Love you. Is that all we're going to get for today? Uh huh. <laughs> That's all. Wow. I had my first paranormal experience when I was seven years old. On this night, he pays a visit to Concordia College in Moorhead, Minnesota, where students can participate. Whenever we go to a school, basically what we do is we bring all of our best evidence. We do a two-hour presentation, just scare everybody to death. There's different types of EVP that's out there. The first type of EVP is called the Class A EVP. That's the clearest type of EVP that's out there. College kids are the best because they are open to things, but they're very skeptical. How many times are you driving in the car, sitting at work, class, whatever, and all of a sudden you smell your grandma's cookies, your aunt's perfume, something that immediately makes you think about that person, takes you right to that moment. This is the first way that spirits will attempt to communicate with you. So you get a lot of people that are there just for the fun of it and the scare, and then others that are there to debunk everything altogether. I will follow you. Thank you once again for letting us be here with you tonight. I'd like to find out if there's anyone who used to be a student in this theater. 
It never fails. On every campus I go to, we're doing the sessions, the voices are coming through, people are really into it and listening, and then all of a sudden someone's voice will come through to one of the skeptics, and they'll hear it, and it'll frighten them to the point that they go, that was my grandmother, that was my mother, that was so-and-so. Thank you, I see you. Thank you for coming through. Thank you. We're gonna, thank you again. We're gonna turn on this device and you actually will be able to speak to us. So at that point, you have these, these uh, students that'll stand around afterwards and they won't leave because their entire box has been shattered at that point. Hi, Dad. He's helping every day. Oh my God. I love you, Dad. This is special. According to Moon, he contacted John Lennon. That's right. And Lennon helped get a lady in touch with her mother. And he actually introduced her to her mother oh. over this device. Her mother came through and said, honey, I love you. I wanted to let you know. Gave her a very beautiful message at that point. Question. How old are you? Six. Question. Are there more of you here? Several Americans. <laughs> Is Al happy the light stayed on for him? Did he say make it shut? Yes. <gasps> he said he said I can't make it shut off. Oh. A lot of people ask me, um, what types of voices do you get that come through the device? And it's not always human spirits. Sometimes we deal with lower level entities that would be considered demonic, things along those lines. Uh, shadow people, uh, which is a whole different classification that comes through. But another interesting thing we've actually had come through would be considered ET or alien voices. Yeah, when I turn the device on, I'm completely focused in on that sound that's there. If I don't do that, then basically if I'm not using the device, this is the sound that I hear. Did you guys feel how cold it got up here? Yeah, it got cold. It's like, I don't know about everybody else, but it was ice cold right here. I actually saw something move like in the like, Yeah, we did, I did too. Like, what did they say about that? Ghosts? Is that what they said? Yeah. yeah. Ghosts. <laughs> it was up there. Ghosts. Kinda got that point, yeah. It's Pam Jolliker here. Hello, hello. You are there who you were here. So essentially you carry that energy onto the other side with you. I really don't believe that there's a magic light that you go through and you're cleansed and you're this different person, which is, it's a beautiful thing when you think about it. You carry your personality with you to the other side. So there you have it, life and afterlife, according to Chris Moon. Life to the Max is brought to you by Life Touch, photography for a lifetime.